Bonjour, je suis Séverine, votre professeur de français. Hello, I'm Séverine, your French teacher. Today, I'm very happy and very excited to have you over for this ultimate beginner's course, all the French you need in one hour. I know you're awesome. You will speak French at the end of this course. We're going to cover a lot of topics. So what to expect? Well, you will learn how to shop at the farmer's market and at the bakery, tricky pronunciation, and speak with complete sentences at the end of this course. No grammar needed. Are you ready to speak French? And I apologize for the typos. Uh, I'm sorry, I guess my English is not all that great. All right, as you come in and get settled, please follow these instructions. Well, try to be in a quiet setting. Turn off your phone and screen notifications. And make sure to take a five-minute stretch break at the 30 minutes to relax. Now I understand you might be at the gym, you might be in your car, or you might be uh, having a coffee or having a quiet morning. So enjoy, it should play. So today, module one, communicating at the farmer's market and small grocery stores, such as going to the bakery and how to buy on ask. Module two, pronunciation. How to make the correct sounds of un, un, and un, this very French sounding sound, and learning colors, and at the end, making 100 sentences and how to improve your accent. Of course, maybe you already uh, listened to the podcast about making 100 sentences. There will be a little bit more. We will also learn how to make negative statements. Okay, so it all depends. Some people might say, you know, uh, it would take you 45 minutes. Uh, feel free to pause, rewind, to take your time. This course is about one hour. All right, so are you about to start this new module and to learn more? Farmer's Market and Bakery, let's start. Uh, le Marché et la Boulangerie, where you're going to learn all this new exciting uh, vocab. So first, learn, let's learn how to shop for French food. So, just wait a second. Right, so shopping at the farmer's market is a fun experience. Every town has a farmer's market, even in large cities like Paris, Lyon, Marseille, Bordeaux. Everything in France goes by decimal weight. Uh, it means that we say... 500 grammes, 500 grammes, which is more or less one pound, un kilo, nobody says un kilogramme, un kilo, one kilogramme is more or less two pounds, and un litre, un litre is more or less a quart. All right, so let's look at our name. Les légumes. Alors, légumes means vegetables. It's masculine. Le poireau. Poireau are extremely common in French food. Leek. La laitue salade. La courgette. With the je sound. Let's forget. Let's not forget. La courgette. Zucchini. L'aubergine, eggplant, lye, garlic. Le chou, not chou, le chou, cabbage. La carotte, la carotte. La tomate, not tomate, please. La tomate, with a a, a sound. La tomate, tomato. La pomme de terre, potato. La Pomme de terre. And then oignon, you don't pronounce that wa, it's a o. Oignon and the gn makes the same sound that the new in onion. Right, so it's great that uh, you take time to remember them and see all this spelling. You've noticed that the j in 
aubergine en courgette mix de jeux sain. The same jeux sain that you hear um, when uh, we say treasure. L'ail, garlic, is also a uh, something that an element that French use a lot in their cooking. So take some time to just um, take notes, remember them, so you can practice when you're home. Again, I do have a podcast too, so if you want to practice some more, uh, you can go on a website, and uh, on podcast you will find all the words. All right, so now let's talk about fruits. And here is a list of the names of the most common fruits. And I'm going to help you with their pronunciation. Le fruit. Fruit is pretty hard to say because you have two sounds. You have U, I. Uh, of course, it is a little hard, uh, especially the U, which is French, very French sounding. To try to make U sound, you let's go and start with I. I, okay? So let's go make I and try to bring your lips together such as, almost like whistling. I, U, 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 I, U, le fruit, le fruit, la pomme, apple, la pomme, l'orange, Orange, l'orange. La poire, le oi, o i, makes the sound oi. La poire, père. La banane, banana. La pêche, peach. This little accent, le hat, is called accent circonflexe, and you make a e sound. E is short, your lips are stretched. E. La pêche. L'abricot, please do not pronounce the T at the end in French. It's abricot, un abricot. La fraise, strawberry. La fraise, strawberry. La cerise, oh, sorry, la framboise. La framboise, you notice there is a... Z sound, okay? La framboise, S makes a Z sound. La cerise, cherry. La cerise. So you have the whole list. Again, take time to practice. You can uh, pause, you can come back, you can take your time. You don't have to learn in one setting, but it's great. Um, as I said, at the end of that presentation, you will speak French, so you will know all the basics that you need to make a great trip to France. So let's go to the bakery. Bakery in French is a boulangerie. Boulangerie, and you have them all over French. Each little town has a bakery since French buys French baguette every day. Keep in mind that bakeries often sell pastries, but pastry stores don't sell bread. So if you go to a pastry store, you won't find any kind of bread. But if you need to get bread, you will often find small pastries in the bakery. I'm not sure it makes sense. So sometimes you will see boulangerie and pâtisserie. All right, so now you are at the boulangerie. Let's see uh, and I apologize, it all scrambled. I don't know what happened with the presentation. I apologize for the mess. La baguette. Oh, la baguette, it's a bread, it's a shape, okay? La tarte, pie, for tarte, pie. Le pain, bread, le pain. La tarte au citron, lemon pie, tarteau. Do you notice how I make the t? La Tarte au citron, and then, of course, our friend le croissant. Now, French don't have croissant every morning. It's usually a Sunday treat. Le croissant, le pain au chocolat. Alors, chocolate bread, notice that we say chocolat, not chocolate. Le pain au chocolat, le flan, le flan with the ensemble. We're going to learn all about these sounds. L'éclair is an elegated Cream filled puff pastry, l'éclair, la chouquette, 
La Chouquette, it's a sweet puff pastry and it's filled with nothing. And then le pain au raisin de sweet raisin bread. Again, I might be going a little fast. Uh, why? Because I have published all of this before on the, the different podcasts. So feel free to come back uh, look for the transcript. Now, cheese. Okay, you have to try the cheese. Of course, if you're not dairy intolerant, make sure to try the cheese when in France. You can buy them at a specialty store, at the farmer's market, or at the supermarket. All right, so here's a list of the names of the most common cheeses and their pronunciation. I'm just sure you asked me, I'm sorry, I'm just sure you heard le camembert et le brie. Le camembert, le brie, they don't come from the same part of France. One is from Normandy, one is made not far from Paris, le brie. Uh, they are very mild tasting. Uh, of course, sometimes in French, you can, France, you can find them very ripe and they might get pungent for you. And then we have le reblochon et le saint-nectaire. These two cheese are more, you know, from the mountains, different parts of France. Um, they will be a little stronger and these are more like hard cheese. Okay, so they're not going to be runny. Le Pont l'Evêque, not Pont, okay, Le Pont l'Evêque. That's the way we pronounce it. Pont l'Evêque, it's actually a city, and I grew up not too far from it. I am myself from Normandy. Le Pont l'Evêque, Le Pont l'Evêque is a square cheese, that's why you know it, and it can get really, really strong and pungent. So if you don't like strong cheese, or you know, if you've never tasted strong cheese and you're curious, I'll try to have Le Pont l'Evêque. Le Gruyère is Swiss cheese, just like Emmental. You know what is Swiss cheese, you know, with the holes in it and everything. And then Le Morbier, it's also a cheese, Le Morbier, which is from the mountains. You will notice a black stripe, okay, when you have a slice of Morbier. Uh, that black stripe is actually ashes, all right, so I don't know if you put real ashes. Don't worry, nobody got sick out of it. Uh, it's all treated. It just, you know, doesn't test anything. Your cheese is not going to have the test of ashes. Don't forget. Don't worry. And then le fromage de chèvre, goat cheese. Le fromage de chèvre. Le fromage de chèvre, goat cheese. Sometimes you would see just chèvre. All right, so now you are, and you want to ask, okay, je veux, I want, je voudrais, I'd like. Of course, je voudrais is a little bit more polite. If it's too hard for you to say, you can say, je veux. Okay, I'm here for you, so let's practice together. Bonjour, je veux une baguette, s'il vous plaît. Bonjour, je veux une baguette, s'il vous plaît. Bonjour, je voudrais une baguette, s'il vous plaît. You notice, you don't say bonne, and you don't say je. It's bon, je. Bonjour, je voudrais une baguette. Bonjour, je veux un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Bonjour, je veux un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Je veux ou je voudrais. Bonjour, je voudrais un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Bonjour, je veux un kilo de tomates, s'il vous plaît. If you're at the farmer's market and you want to test the tomatoes, they look tasty and local. Bonjour, je voudrais un kilo de tomates, un kilo de, a kilogram of. Okay, un kilo de tomates, let's see if you want to buy olives, un kilo d'olive. Okay, you drop the E in front of the vowel. Un kilo d'olive ou 500 grammes. Do you remember if you want a pound? 500 grammes. Uh, we have a word called une livre for a pound. It might be a little hard to remember. 500 grammes, un kilo de tomates. Bonjour, je veux ou je voudrais. And 
always remember to add bonjour and s'il vous plaît. Especially the bonjour whenever you're going to talk to someone, salesperson, clerks, hotel receptionist, people in the street, if you need directions, always say bonjour. Bonjour. And, of course, you know, to add, s'il vous plaît, is always good. Um, I know sometimes we get caught up and we forget to say bonjour. Uh, French are very sensitive to that, okay? So you use je veux, je voudrais, and make sure to add bonjour and s'il vous plaît. Great. So now you know how to shop at the farmer's market. Is everything clear so far? Of course, you can reach out to me. Right? I read my emails. I'm a real person. And you can reach out to me via the website. You can reach out to me uh, via Facebook. Now, let's talk about this sounds. En, un, un, the very French sounding sounds. Of course, it depends what your language uh, But if you speak English, they actually don't exist in English. That's why it's hard. And you're always like, what? What is this? Oh, uh, God, I hear. Okay, alors, en, un, un. These three sounds are often used together. So this starts with un, un. If you hear a N or M, your brain is tricking you. I don't have any N or M sound. Un. To make the sound un, let's start with O. O, okay, make a O, and then you're going to try to lift the back of your tongue. O, O, right? Pucker your lips together. O, 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 O. Do you hear? O, O, O. Okay, not on, O, um, it's O. So we have a lot of spellings. You will see these words a lot. O. Let's try together. Au, on. Le crayon. Le crayon, it's a pencil in French. Le crayon, not crayon. Le crayon. Le bonbon. Le bonbon, not le bonbon. Le bonbon. Le bonbon. Un bonbon. Candies. Le bonbon. Le comté. You don't say comté. Le comté. Le Comté is a Swiss cheese or so. I mean, it's made in France. Now, let's start with the sound un. Un. Okay, I know it sounds very ugly. And how are you going to make that sound? The sound un. All right, now your lips will be stretched. Okay, your mouth is just like when you're smiling, you know. So let's pretend I'm smiling. I hope you are. So let's smile together, uh, and then let's try to make uh, and think of your tongue. Your tongue uh, uh, is all the way in the back, okay? It's in the bottom of your throat. Uh, uh. You can try to make it flat or not, but it's very important that you keep your mouth stretched. Uh, uh. Can you do it? Uh. Can you hear the difference between on uh, Un, un, your lips are stretched, your mouth is half open, your tongue is in the bottom. Un, un. And that's the number one in French. Un, un. Okay, and then Monday is lundi. It's coming up. Lundi. Lundi, Monday. Same spelling. Lundi. Le vin, okay, we don't say le vin ou le dvin. Le vin, when you see I-N, you pronounce un. Le vin, un verre de vin. Sympa. Sympa means nice. I didn't put any picture because you can picture yourself. I'm just sure vous êtes sympa. Sympa means neat, nice, uh, friendly. So, sympa. Sympa, I know. You see a Y, you see a M, you don't say sympa, sympa. Tu es sympa means you're nice, you're sweet. La main, we don't say la main, la main is the hand, 
la main with the un sound. La main. And then we have another word that uses the same spelling, le pain. Not le pain, Ugh. le pain, and of course le parfum. Look at that spelling. U M makes the sound un. And la peinture, la peinture, not peinture, la peinture et le timbre. Timbre, not timbre, le timbre, le timbre. Now we're going to do the sound en, en. To make the sound en, you're going to open your mouth wide, en, en. Okay, let's go with a, a, a. En. How do I make this? I know you can't see me. A en, a en. So keep your mouth open. A, a. Okay. Your tongue is all the way in the bottom. Okay. A, a. And then you're just going to bring okay, together. La lavande. La lavande. A en. You just bring your lips. La Provence, different spelling. La Lavande, La Provence. You don't voice the end sound. La Lavande, La Provence. Et maintenant, le champagne. Not champ, champ, champ. Not che, champagne. With the new sound like an onion. Le champagne. Le champagne. If you hear most sound, your brain is tricking you. It's en. Okay, remember, you go from A, en. You bring your lips together. A, en. A, en. La température. We say all the syllables. La température. I don't say temp, I say temps. La température. Great, so now you know to make these three different sounds. They're tricky to make. And you have to practice. You will find a lot of resources online where you can go and watch YouTube videos with a lot, a lot of tutorials. The best is to practice. You might not hear the difference at first between on, on, on. And you're right. It is very subtle. But when you see it, pretend. And let's pretend you need to order food or you need to speak. Then it's going to be a lot easier for you. Okay. Colors. I love colors, so let's learn how to say the colors again. Rouge, rouge, not rouge, okay? Rouge, 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 okay? That's the color red. Vert, vert. I have published a podcast with the colors, so if you want to practice some more, feel free. I know I sound like a broken record. Uh, but you on the website, it's been all fixed. So you will find a lot of resources to keep learning French and to be confident when you go to French. You'll have so much more great memories when you're able to speak and make yourself understood by the people who live there. So, vert turns into vert when it's feminine. Bleu. 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 Violet, not violet, vio. Violet, violette. Jaune, jaune. Jaune, jaune. Great, that's the color yellow. And of course, again, as I said, you know, you'll find more resources so you can keep practicing that to different sound. AU makes the sound O. Jaune. Um, of course, some of you have been asking what happened to the YouTube channel. I uh, kind of been busy with teaching my classes because I'm first and foremost a French as a foreign language teacher. I hope you know I'll have more time. Now, this one it's gonna be really the most important if you want to supercharge your French. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to make 100 French sentences in less than 10 minutes. I know, you may be saying, yes, right, no grammar, we're just going to take blocks, and we're going to play around with some blocks, and you can mix them together to make sentences again, 
All right, I have published a video and a podcast to help you. Uh, you have to be able to use this because you will be so happy to be able to make French sentences. And it's very easy, no grammar. All right, so let's start. Let's start with a French sentence structure. You will have a subject, you will have a verb, and you will have an object. So if you know one subject plus 10 verbs plus 10 objects, objects are complements, then you know how to make a lot of sentences in French. We're going to hack this in three steps. In three steps, you will learn how to make using this method to make many and many sentences. One subject, 10 verbs, and 10 objects. First, a number of French verbs can be followed by an infinitive with no preposition. I know, you must say, what? All right, let's think about the sentence, I like to swim. You have your subject, I. You have a verb, like, followed by another verb, to swim. At the infinitive. The infinitive means your verb is not conjugated. So you use it as a complement, object. I like to swim. You can use this to speak French, the same structure, with the verb followed by another verb. So first, we will use je, I, as a subject. You will learn the verbs coming after je. So your first block is je. And remember, je becomes j apostrophe in front of a verb starting with a vowel. You pronounce as one sound, such as j'adore. I know it's confusing because you see an apostrophe. You might think, well, do you have to stop? What do you have to do? You don't have to do anything. Okay? J'adore. J'adore. J'aime. So make sure to always say, don't stop. One sound. Okay? J'adore. You don't stop. Alors, French verbs followed by another French verb. We just saw that you have one block already, which is the je. Now, that's your second block, okay? So, you've noticed I wrote vouloir and je veux. Vouloir is uh, the verb when it's at the infinitive. Je veux is I want a present tense. Uh, you should know it because we just talked about it when you were asking for a baguette, okay? Je veux, I want. Pouvoir, je peux, not je pux. Je peux. I can, I'm able. Devoir, to must, to have to, je dois. Je dois, I must, I have to, je dois. Aimer, do you remember what I told you about the J and A? You're going to make j'aime. J'aime, not j'aime, not j'aime. J'aime, one sound, j'aime. Préféré, préféré, je préfère. You have two accents, et A. Okay, to make the second one, you open the mouth. To make the first one, the mouth is stretched. The first one sounds like the A, je préfère the A that you have in cake. The second one is more like the A that you have in pet. Je préfère, je préfère, I prefer. Espérer, j'espère, j'espère, again, the J apostrophe. J'espère, I hope, détester. Je déteste, I hate, it's very strong in French. Okay, you have to be discerning when you say that. Savoir, je sais, je sais plus infinitive, I know how to. Je sais nager, for instance, if you know how to swim. Je sais, not je sais, je sais. And then the last one, j'adore. Now, here's the list of verbs you can use as object or complements. It means you have your 
first block, je, and then you have your second block, the verb. Now let's go and have your third block, which are going to be a bunch of verbs. Of course, I selected these verbs for you. You can do and use your own verbs. You don't have to stick with the list that I gave you. Okay? So, we have the je, we have our verb, and now we're going to look at a list of verbs. You will have to make that little effort to remember this part. Really, uh, it's only okay, 10 verbs to remember at the beginning. All right, so let's... Manger means to eat. Marcher means to walk. Partir, to live. Visiter, you notice the Z sound, just like in Framboise. Visiter, to visit. Voir, to see. Acheter, to buy. Courir, to run. Prendre, to take, when you take something, or to get, when you talk about food. Je prends un croissant, I'm getting a croissant. Dormir, to sleep. Dormir, revenir is to go back or to come back. I see that I left a voir. Mm -hmm. And ach, arrêter means to stop. Arrêter, to stop. So as I said, this is a list that I made, but you can feel free to look up and use other verbs uh, for other situation. Okay, so now we have the three blocks, right? We have je, and then your verb, and now you have your complement. So let's mix together. Vouloir, je veux dormir, I want to sleep. Marcher, j'aime marcher, I like to walk. Pouvoir, je peux voir, I can see, I'm able to see. Devoir, je dois partir, I have to leave, I must leave. Préférer, je préfère revenir. I prefer to come back. Adorer. J'adore manger. I love to eat. So you see, if you use these three blocks together and you mix them, you can make a lot of different sentences. And that's your first okay, key to start to speak French fast. Of course, you can say, je veux, you can use. Is everything clear so far? I know I might be going a little fast. Again, you will find this module in one of my previous podcasts. Now, let's be ambitious and add one more step. Let's add adverbs. Adverb are describing words. They can describe verb, adjective, a sentence, or another adverb. French adverbs can consist of different words, okay? So you can have um, demain, très vite, tomorrow, very quickly, or words ending in mon. Simplement, heureusement, it's the same rule in French than in English, all right? So what you do is... Uh, you add more at the end of the word, and that turns it into uh, an adverb. Simplement, simply, heureusement, happily. All right, so this is how you're going to make it. So let's look at some of the French essential adverbs here. Well, bien, vite, fast, aussi, to or also or as well. Très, very. Here, ici. Là, there. Jamais, never. Souvent, often. Parfois, sometimes. Plus tard, later. Demain, tomorrow, bientôt, soon. 
All right, I went on fast, but I really want you to、uh, take a minute to remember them. One of the tricky one is bien. Alors, we don't say in French "I am well" to say "I'm fine."、Uh, we don't say "Je suis bien." It's all different. We say "Je suis bien." It's more like you feel well. You know, I feel good about myself. Right? It's a little different than saying "I'm fine." Like if you ask about someone's health. So. For that, you don't say "je suis bon" or "je suis bien." In French, if someone asks "how are you," remember you say "je vais bien." If you want to avoid these little mistakes, feel free to listen to the podcast about the five uh, common uh, mistakes that beginners do, and it's one of the most common one. It's to be confused to say "je vais bien" instead of "je suis bien." All right, so we're going to see now how we can mix them together. Je veux manger ici. I want to eat here. J'aime marcher vite. I like. Well, I love to walk fast. Je peux voir demain. I can. Oh, I'm able to see tomorrow. Je dois partir bientôt. I have to leave soon, or I must leave soon. Je préfère revenir plus tard. I prefer to come back later. J'adore acheter. I love to buy. I think something happened with my slide here.、Um, it's missing the last sentence, and I really apologize. I don't know what happened. Now that's it. You are making French sentences, and I told you, right? So take a second, take a minute, or take all the time you need to review this module because it's very important. And by using this. Method and these blocks, you'll be speaking French very fast. Okay, we're not done here, right? So if you want to hit that pause button and come back, you're welcome, or you can just stay. All right. So let's remember: Je suis, I am. J'ai, I have. Why is it important to remember? Because in French we don't say I am cold. Or we don't say I am hungry. We actually say it differently. So let, let's look at these、uh, emotions and feelings. Content, contente, happy, faim, hungry. Not femme, which means a woman. Faim, chaud, hot, froid, cold, triste, sad. Fatigué, fatigué, tired. Malade, sick. En colère, angry. Afraid, peur. Surpris, surprise, surprised. Okay. Take some time to remember them, especially a、uh, malade. Uh-huh. It's very important if you get sick in French. You never know. Alors, let's remember. It's je suis. Je suis content. Je suis contente. Je suis content. If you're a man, je suis contente. If you are a woman, you don't pronounce the t if you're a man. Je suis triste. I'm sad. Je suis fatigué. I'm tired. Je suis malade. I am sick. Je suis en colère. I am angry. Je suis surpris ou je suis surprise. So I'm surprise. Surpris if you're a man. Surprise if you're a woman. And if you notice that fatigué was spelled a differently in the slide before. If you're a woman, when you write it, you add an extra e, but you don't voice it. So, man or woman, if you're tired, je suis fatigué. You don't pronounce the t. Je suis content. If you're a man, je suis contente. If you're a woman, je suis surpris. If you're a man, je suis surprise. If you are a woman, right? 
It's very important to know all of this because they come very handy when you are in France. Je suis, I am. Je suis triste, je suis fatigué, je suis malade, je suis en colère, je suis surpris, je suis surprise, je suis content, je suis contente. Content, contente. Happy, triste, sad, fatigué, tired, malade, sick, en colère, angry, surpris, je suis surpris. J'ai, not j'ai, not j'ai, not j'ai, j'ai. J'ai faim, I'm hungry. J'ai chaud, I am hot. J'ai froid, I am cold. J'ai peur, I'm afraid. Faim, chaud, froid, peur. All right, but what if you need to use negation? So far it was great, we learned, you know, but what if you don't want? What if you're not angry? What if you're not scared? All right, so how is this going to work? Think of a sandwich. Okay, what's what's the deal between sandwiches and French grammar? All right, so let's think about your sandwich. Usually inside your sandwich, you have something. So here, what you're going to put inside your sandwich is your verb, and you're going to use ne and pas around your verb, right? Here's your ne pas sandwich. Je ne veux pas, I don't want. Je ne vais pas, I am not going, I don't go. Je ne suis pas, I am not. Je n'ai pas, I don't have. You notice here that now, since the ne is in front of a verb with a vowel, it turns into an apostrophe. One sound, je n'ai pas. Je ne peux pas, I cannot, I'm not able to. Je ne prends pas, I don't take, I don't get. Je ne pars pas, I don't leave. Je ne mange pas, I don't eat. Je ne vois pas, I don't see. Je ne fais pas, I don't make or I don't. Now, when French speak, they tend to drop the ne, but they always keep the pas. It means that je ne veux pas turns into je veux pas, or some people say je ne, je ne ou je ne veux pas. Okay, whatever is easier for you, you can say je veux pas, je ne veux pas, je ne veux pas, ou je ne veux pas. As long as you keep the pas, people will understand you. Je vais pas, je suis pas, j'ai pas, je peux pas, je prends pas, je pars pas, je mange pas. Je vois pas, je fais pas. That's the way French will speak usually when they use a negation. So don't be surprised when you get to France that you hear the pas, but you won't hear the ne voice as much. Je ne veux pas, je ne vais pas, je suis pas, j'ai pas, je peux pas, je prends pas, je pars pas, je mange pas. Je vois pas, je fais pas. Try to practice as much as you can. If it's easier for you to use the ne, of course, you know, use the ne. It's just a little hack. Uh, first, because uh, people will understand. And somehow, it's a little easier on pronunciation not to have to do that extra ne. It's always hard. So don't forget. Each French noun has a gender. It's either masculine or feminine. Le croissant, the croissant, un croissant, et croissant. Uh, la femme, the woman, une femme et woman. There isn't any uh, easy way to know if a noun is masculine or feminine. We have a lot, a lot of different endings in French. Of course, you have heard if there's an E at the end, the word is feminine. It's not that simple. I've put together um, a, um, sorry, a class um, 
I'm not sure if people are going to be interested with the podcast, but uh, I will keep you if you have interest in knowing how to make the difference between uh, different nouns. I will do it. Voilà, c'est la fin. You did it. You have completed the ultimate one hour course. Of course, some of you might have completed even before it. Um, what's next? Join the newsletter today. Uh, Le Club. Le Club is free. You get free classes, free tips, and you can find the registration form on Speak French avec moi Le Club, or you can just uh, wait uh, for another uh, course to come up. I will keep you updated. And of course, as usual, feel free to reach out to me, uh, even through the website, through Facebook, or my email address, which is Severine at speakfrenchavecmoi.com S-E-V-R-I-N-E arrobas I know French arrobas point speakfrenchavecmoi.com Alright, so how can you take, you know, this knowledge a little uh, further? So the first, you know, please read and study all the material related to this course. You will have a self-assessment quiz. This is a fun, short test. Uh, for the part, you'll get a degree at the end. I'm not sure it's really working these days. Uh, I am not a webmaster. Um, so I'm not sure about that part. I'm sorry. Um, and I said... Join the newsletter, Le Club, for your next free lessons and tips. Keep listening to the podcast and share with your friends. Okay, look at this Eiffel Tower, these fireworks. We are waiting for you in France. Je suis très contente. I am very happy. Okay, so now you know how to make complete French sentences. You know the colors. You know how to shop at the store, and you know how to make the tricky uh, en, un, en. Voilà. Merci beaucoup. À bientôt. Au revoir.